Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video and in today's video I want to show you guys exactly how to boost your FPS and make your frame rate more consistent here in Fortnite So if you play on PC and you want to know exactly the best way to make your frames feel a lot better than they have previously I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this video So definitely stay to the end and real quick before we get into the video. I have a V buck giveaway I bought a ton of these V buck cards for you guys to have if you guys would like to receive a card and enter the giveaway all you guys have to do is simply drop a like on this video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell and drop a comment down below of either your xbox gamer tag PSN Gamer Tag or Epic account. I will be giving out one of these cards every single Friday. I will share the screenshot of the winner in the video. So make sure you guys stay updated if you are interested in winning free V-Bucks. And lastly, if you guys want to support me in the item shop, just go down to the bottom right, hit on support a creator, type in creator code YoungHumor, and you guys will have me supported in the item shop as a creator. And all right, guys, let's get right to the video. All right, guys, so in this video, I want to share with you guys an easy thing that you guys can do to help improve your FPS to make it more consistent and to make your game feel a lot more smoother than before. So one of the things that can happen, this is something that I've been doing for the past couple of months that's really helped uh, my frame rate and my smoothness of my game tremendously and I wanted to share with you guys as well. So one of the things that can happen is even if you are getting say a, a certain frame rate, you're not going to be getting a very consistent frame time in game which is going to cause your game to feel more stuttery more laggy so even if you are on 60 fps 144 240 what can happen is if you don't cap your fps correctly even if you cap it in game it's going to cause your game to stutter your frame rate's going to go up and down and it's going to cause it that even though it shows you that you're on 240 fps you're not actually feeling what it should feel on 240 fps so it's important to fix your frame time and the only way to do it that i know of is you want to download something called RTSS, which is the Riva Tuner Statistics, and you want to download this. And this is part of MSI Afterburner. It's something they have as well, so it's not anything weird online. So this is very easy to download. And once you download this, it'll download. If your Google Chrome will pop up in the bottom left, you want to open this, fully download this. And once you download this, the reason why you want to is, like I said, it makes your frame times consistently, the time in between frames. It makes it consistent, meaning that your game is going to feel a lot smoother and it's going to feel like you're playing on a lot higher FPS than before. And I'm not even joking. This is a real game changer as well. And all you have to do to open is after you download, you want to go to, to the bottom left of your windows, type in RTSS. You want to go to Riva Tuner Statistics Server. You want to click on that. And if it doesn't come up, you want to go down to your bottom right, click on the show hidden apps and then you want to click on the one with the monitor on the right and once you click on that it's going to pop up on your screen and once it pops up it could be a little bit too big or a little bit too small I'll show you exactly how to change the size of the window here in a minute but one thing that you want to do first is you want to make sure it starts on windows which is the top left you want to make sure you have that on so you don't have to turn it on remotely every single time you turn on your pc so you want to have it to start on windows so that it automatically will start Every time you load up your PC, you load up a game, it's automatically going to be on. You have the on-screen display if you want to have that as well. I recommend having that on. So going into the setup at the bottom left, the only two things that you want to do is if you go to the user interface and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to be able to change the size of the window in the size scaling. You can also change the transparency, but there's really no need to do that. It's usually on the highest, but you can change the size in here. So if it's a little bit too small, if it's a little bit too big, depending on the resolution of your monitor, if you're on a 4K monitor, it might show up really small. If you're on 1080p, it might show up way too big. So you can adjust the size of the app right here. And then you want to go to general and you want to just tick the time frame will just allows you to see it so when you show your statistics and it will in game it'll show you the frame times that you're getting so you want to make sure you have that on and then there's nothing else you need to change in here unless you want to hit okay it'll save and then going into the options here there's only a couple options you have the frame rate frame rate limit is the most important you just want to cap it to whatever your uh, monitor is if you're on 144 you cap it at 144 i just cap mine three below it's just something that i've been doing for a long time i don't know i've heard it makes a difference but it might not because i play on a 240 hertz monitor so i just cap it at 237 you can cap it at 144 120 60 whatever you're playing on it doesn't really matter just cap it on whatever your monitor's refresh rate is and then there's also an on-screen display if you want to have that on as well you don't have to but if you want to you can also turn it on you can also adjust where it is 
positioned on the screen. I prefer to have mine on the left side, kind of on the top or towards the middle. It depends. Usually in a lot of games, there's some type of HUD icon at the top left. So I like to have it kind of in the left side, but more in the middle. And you can also adjust the size. You can adjust pretty much anything that you want to. So if you put it on 1-1, one, one, it'll show up at the very top left. Put it on like 200 or so, it'll show up kind of a little bit more down. And I like mine at like three or 400. Anything in that range works. Doesn't really matter. Whatever feels comfortable for you. So you can also adjust the size. So what this is, it's going to show you your frame time, as I mentioned in the setup menu, when you have the, um, you can also adjust the size with uh, the little bar that I just showed. But it's going to show your frame time. That's going to be the graph. And I have it a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. You want this to be as consistent as possible. And if you cap, if you cap your frame rate with the MSI Afterburner RTSS, it's going to fix your frame time issues. It's going to make your game feel way smoother than before. And even if you were playing on a certain refresh rate, it's going to feel infinitely better because your frame times are going to be consistent. There's not going to be any sort of delay or stuttering. So this is a really big game changer and I can notice it instantly when I don't have it on or when I have it off. It's not like a placebo where I feel like it helps. It definitely helps and it's something that I notice immediately. If I don't have it on, I can instantly tell. And if I have it on, I can instantly tell as well. It just feels so much better to have. And it's one of the things that's not really talked about very much. But this is such a game changer and I highly recommend all of you guys who play on PC to have this uh, this application, the software downloaded and to use it because it's such a game changer. It's going to help you guys out a lot. It's going to make your game feel way, way better. And of course, if you have more applications open, if you're streaming, things like that, of course, your frame time isn't going to be as good, but it should be as close to flat as possible for the line that you're seeing on the screen. It also will show you your FPS and the milliseconds, it says 4.2, which means on 240 FPS, the screen is going to refresh once every 4.2 milliseconds. When you're on 60 hertz, it's like 16 seconds, and then 144 is like 8 seconds or so. And it's going to show you that as well. So you can adjust that. You can have it on. You can have it off. You just want to have the startup on Windows. So when you load up your PC, you don't have to think about it. It's automatically going to be on. But this is something that I highly recommend you guys download and highly recommend you guys check out. I'll have a link for this in the description. Super easy to download. It's, it's safe. It's just part of MSI Afterburner. So make sure you guys download it and let me know what you guys think. If you could drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified for every single time I release a new video. But with that being said, I appreciate all you guys watching the video and I will see you guys in the next video.